Hey guys, how's it going? It's Eric King here, and I decided that with a couple requests I've been getting that I'm going to start doing tutorials. I'm going to try to upload these as much as possible, but I probably won't be able to in the next few weeks because I have AP exams coming up. But by the time summer vacation comes along, I should be getting these out pretty much every week or probably every couple of days, depending on the suggestions you guys give. Uh, just comment below what else you want to see. And that's pretty much all I need to do for that. I also need to shout out uh, someone who made my intro at the beginning of this video named String Designs. Go check him out and subscribe. He does not have as many subscribers as he should have. He's a really insane motion designer and he made my intro for free. So make sure you check him out. Link's going to be in the description. But uh, yeah, so pretty much what we're going to be doing for our tutorial is this effect that you've seen in a few of my edits. And it's this part right here where the guns duplicate and there's like a whole bunch of them and a whole bunch of stuff is going on. It's actually pretty easy to do but for those of you who are asking, um, I'll just do a tutorial on it right now. So what you have is your clip right here. I'm just going to use the N94 clip and um, so what you want to do first is double click on your clip so it brings it up to this little bluish square thing and you want to select this thing called roto brush it should be a man with like a little painting over it or like a paintbrush and you're just going to highlight over the part that you want to be roto brushed which is it's this is pretty much an automatic mask as you can see like it got all of these parts by itself and it's going to be like a mask and i'm not going to spend too much time on this because it's a tutorial and it's not like an actual edit so i shouldn't spend too much time on it but the way you're going to make the edges a little bit smoother, which you should do, is go to the roto brush and set the feather to about like 55 is usually what I make it. And now what you have to do is make it so it does this across the entire part that you want. As um, you see here, it only does like, if you like go over here, this part is just going to be like pink across the edges, which means the whole thing is getting masked out which is what you don't want, uh, you want it to stay like this across the entire thing. And the way to do that is to go to the part you want it to end at. So let's say I want it to end over here. And then you want to drag this thing across until you get all the way to the end. And now what you need to do, if you go to a different part, you'll see that this green bar like kind of renders it out, I guess. And you can see here that it masked out these parts and it gets a little bit messed up here. So what you want to do is just click on it and then fix it like that. Like I said, I'm not going to spend too much time on it, but um, if it does get like too messed up, I'll fix it. So you just want to go over everything, like it gets a little bit messed up over there. So I mean, technically you'd want to like go back to the first frame that it got messed up on and then fix it. So that would be like right here and just do that do that and the way you can delete this space like let's say that you don't want this part here is you hold alt on your computer and it'll bring up this red one and it deletes that and then you know add that or whatever and you just do as much as you want uh, as much as you set it to and just kind of quickly go over until the whole thing is masked so I'm going to go to about 30 frames, so because uh, it does take a while to render out. So I'm going to go to about here, uh, maybe t maybe 25 frames, and then let's just say let's say I'm done with the uh, whole thing. So it actually gets messed up over there. Uh, so let's just say I'm done with the whole thing. So what you want to do now is go to this thing called freeze and you want to freeze all of these things that way um, the mask stays the same the whole time and if you don't freeze it it's gonna take a really really long time to like RAM preview and render out and stuff so you have to freeze it or it's gonna take like 20 minutes to render out like a frame but that's pretty much what you do for the masking that's just a basic roto brush uh, Mine doesn't look too good because I did it really fast, but uh, yours is probably going to look a lot better when you actually put work into it and a lot of patience because it does take a bit of time. So you have the mask. If you go back to your composition right here, you'll see that this thing is completely like masked out, which is good. 
And what you want to do now is duplicate the layer with Control D and then go to the bottom layer and delete your roto brush so that way it just looks like a normal clip. And then um, what you want to do with this one is position it and you see you can move it to the side and stuff and it'll look like this. It's not very good but uh, a way you can fix this is if it's like you can see here at the top it's kind of weird is go to the contrast and put it down and that should like feather it out more you can see now you can start seeing like the the red dots and I'm just gonna make the contrast like 33 it really depends on how your mask goes uh, but you can see now it's duplicated and what I did in this edit is I duplicated it a couple more times and then I moved it over like this duplicated it again went to position and moved it over here then I duplicated it one more time and moved it all the way over here so I have five N94s and now what you want to do is check which ones are which so, okay this one goes to this side and you press S on your keyboard to bring up scale and you set the ones on the sides up to 130 and then the ones in the middle set those to 115 just so there's like some variety in how they look so you just do uh, actually you set this one to 130 I think yeah okay so you have this and it doesn't look too good right now it'll look a lot better with color correction but um, another thing that I did is I set all of these to add so that way you can see the background and it's kind of like glowing a little bit. Uh, you can also just use opacity and kind of like make the opacity like 50 or something if you don't like how glowy it is. I just like how it looks like this so I keep it like this. And now you can kind of start to see the resemblance but there is something else that I added to it which was uh, called color HLS I think. So go to your effects and presets and type in HLS and um, yeah, you bring up this thing called color balance, put it on one of your masked out N94s and click on the hue. And now what you want to do is just go to the end of wherever your mask ends at and you keyframe it. At the start, at keyframe it at zero, then go to the end and make the hue, make a full circle. So you type in one over here. So now you can see on the left side, uh, changes colors. And it, you can especially see it because of the red dots, so usually you want something that's like a solid color in your mask. It just looks a lot better. Then what you want to do is duplicate this, uh, Control c to copy it, and then go to your other clip and press Control v to paste it. So now I can see both these are colored, but if you want to add some variety to it, you go to one of them and you press U to open up the keyframes, and instead of one, you set this to negative one so now you can see the colors are different the whole time and obviously now all you want to do is just copy the keyframes and then put them on the different sides like this so now you can see there's colors changing throughout the entire thing and that's pretty much the main thing that I did for this um, that's really all you need to know. It doesn't look very good without color correction and black bars, so if you just throw on, let's say, like, this for color correction, uh, that's kind of bright, but like, uh, pretty much just put some color correction on it. It'll look a lot better. Um, so like that looks pretty cool. And then, you know, obviously black bars always make it look better for these kinds of edits so this is pretty much how you make it um, I'm gonna like just RAM preview it so you guys can see what it looks like hopefully you guys understood the tutorial well uh, give me suggestions if you've watched this video all the way through on other tutorials I should make because I'm pretty much willing to do anything that I've done on my channel or anything you guys want to know uh, and you can see it right here with it replaying 
But that's pretty much it for this tutorial. Let me know what you guys think about it, and I will see you guys later.